Hi and welcome. Nice to see you back here at Garfin's Creation. Today we'll be making tuna fish croquettes. This is a very simple and yet delicious recipe. So let's begin. For this recipe, I'll be using one can of tuna chunks. You can use any brand and this is soaked in olive oil. I'll be using a little bit of the olive oil too. The chunk pieces, I have just broken it into smaller pieces. I have just drained the tuna chunks from the box and kept the oil separately. I'll be using this oil in which the tuna chunks have been soaked. I'm taking one tablespoon of it. You can also use normal vegetable oil and to it I'll be adding one tablespoon of butter. Once the butter is melted, I'll be adding one medium sized onion which has been finely chopped. And now I'll be frying this till it's a little bit soft. You'll find the detailed recipe in the description box below. Keep stirring and fry the onions till they are a little bit soft. Now add 2 tablespoons of maida or all purpose flour and mix this well. Keep stirring on medium flame and let the maida or all purpose flour cook for about 30 to 40 seconds. The maida is cooked now and now reduce the flame to low and I will be adding around 100 ml of milk that is half cup a little at the time. Keep stirring continuously now. Keep adding the milk in batches till the mixture thickens up a bit. Adding the rest of the milk now, I have added total half cup that is 100 ml of milk. Keep stirring. This looks great. Now I'll be adding half a teaspoon of pepper powder and a little nutmeg around quarter teaspoon. Mix all the ingredients well now and now once this is done I will be switching off the flame and adding the remaining ingredients. Now add the canned tuna shreds into the pan and give it a good mix. To this add one medium sized potato that has been boiled and grated. Mix this as well. To this you can also add a little bit of cheese to make it a more cheesy croquette. And now I will be adding a little bit of salt. You will need to taste it because the canned tuna also contains salt. As per taste add the salt and mix it well once more. Now I'll let the mixture rest and cool a bit till I'm able to handle and make croquettes out of it. To make the croquettes, just grab a little portion of the mix and press it so it's tight enough and then form into a long shape. Now I'll continue and making the rest of it in the same shape. You can make these croquettes with other fish too. All you have to do 
is boil the fish and separate the meat from it and then use it as in this recipe. Now this is done. Let's do the coating part of it. I have taken one full egg and just whisking it and this is homemade bread crumbs and now dip the croquet first into the egg roll it well and then roll it into the bread crumbs coat the croquets well with the bread crumb you can also press some bread crumbs as you roll it so it sticks well make the rest of it in the same way only make sure the croquettes are well coated with the bread crumbs so you get a good outer coating These are all done and now let's fry them. For frying the croquettes, I've taken sufficient oil in a pan for shallow frying and be adding the croquettes a little at a time. On medium flame, I'll be frying them for about 2 minutes on each side till they are nice, light and golden brown on all sides. After 2 minutes on medium flame they are nice and brown I'll be turning it and cooking on the other side as well I'll be putting the detailed recipe in the description box below These croquettes are really yummy and serve them hot with any of your favorite sauces or mayonnaise or even any chutneys These are done. I'll be getting them out of the pan and frying the rest of it till nice and golden brown. These are really yummy croquettes. You can also add a little bit of cheese into it to make them cheesy tuna croquettes. These are great party ideas and a hit at every house gatherings. The next step now is to grab and eat them when they are hot i'm tasting one with some nice mayo and it tastes superb do give it a try and let me know in the comments how you liked it till we meet again in the next video take care bye bye and thanks for watching